Hello and welcome to video number eight. So if you're not ready for Gutenberg, how do you revert back to the classic editor? So like many people, you may not be ready for Gutenberg. In fact, if you do a search for it, you're gonna see a huge amount of negative reviews. And this is simply because of the learning curve. It's not necessarily because it's bad. In fact, if you see, it's clearly a lot better than the classic editor in so many ways. But let's say, for example, you have a client who has a website and they just don't want to go over the learning curve and they're editing the site themselves and they're just frustrated and they're like, I want to go back to the classic editor. If that is the case, then I'm going to give you some options. There are two ways for you to switch back to the old classic editor that you may be used to. Number one, option one is to install the classic editor WordPress plugin. And number two, you can disable the Gutenberg WordPress plugin. Now, bear in mind that option one is what most of you are going to implement. Option two, and the reason why I included this was because some of your clients or some websites that might be outdated, that haven't been updated, may be utilizing the Gutenberg WordPress plugin. But nowadays, from now and on, all of the WordPress updates include the Gutenberg editor built into it. So if that's the case, you will need to use option one. Option two is very obvious. If somebody installed the Gutenberg WordPress plugin, they would simply need to disable it. So what I'm gonna do now is to show you how to install the classic editor WordPress plugin. So we're gonna hop on over to the website. And to do that, you simply go to plugins, you go to the add new plugin, you go over here, you enter the keyword classic editor, this is the classic editor. As you can see, it enables the previous classic editor and the old style tiny MCE. So you click install now, click activate, and that's it. So now that the old classic editor plugin has been installed, you don't wanna go ahead and edit right away just yet. What you need to do is click on settings. So this allows you to customize the editor a little bit. So formatting, you're not gonna to need to worry about this right here, but by default, it'll convert emoticons like the smiley face and all of that to actual graphics. So as you can see, it says default editor for all users. We got the classic editor, allow users to switch editors. So we've got the block editor here and the classic editor. So you can allow them to switch back and forth. Honestly, if you have clients and they just don't like the editors, I would just disable it, click no, unless they ask you, hey, can you switch it back? Because otherwise it will literally confuse them. So that's it. What we need to do now is simply go back to post. We click on add new and there we go. So now we are back to the old classic editor. So if you're used to that, you don't have to worry about the blocks or anything like that. We're back to normal and that's it. That's how easy it is to revert back to the old classic editor. So like I said, option two really is only there if your client is using an old website. But for the majority of the cases, 99.9% .9 of the time, you're gonna utilize option number one. 